Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today we are talking about the new Corrado 200M and this reel is amazing. Let's talk about it. Well take a look at this beauty guys. This reel is just a good looking reel and today I want to talk about 10 things they have improved with the Corrado 200M. The first thing I want to talk about is the body design. I really like this design. I've got a few Corrado reels. I've tried and tested and beat out the Corrado 150 MGL. I have used the Corrado 200K. That has been one of my top favorite reels uh, all time actually. And I've also used the Corrado DC reel. I've used uh, the Tranx reel, I've used the Shimano uh, Tranx 300 and the Corrado 300. Uh, I've pretty much used and owned all of the Corrado lineup uh, reels and I really like the design of this one. I mean that's subjective but I really really like it. I think they've done a good job. I like the green tones, I love the dual colors with the black on top. Uh, the new handle, uh, sorry, thumb bar, it's a little bit textured and especially the new tension knob which is just beautiful to me actually to have to look at. So first thing, body design. The second thing they've added and improved on this reel is the MGL3 spool. This spool is a great spool. Uh, I don't know if you've used uh, the Bantam, which has the MGL3 spool. There's a couple of other reels that has the MGL3 spool. And uh, it just casts farther. It, it is just great. And uh, it's lighter, it casts better. And uh, I think this reel has got a really big advantage over the Corrado K, for example, uh, because of this spool. The third thing they've improved is this the handle design. I don't know if you can tell the difference here, but I'll put up a comparison with the Corrado K. But the design is different. Uh, it feels beefier somehow. Uh, the, 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 the drag star is uh, identical, I think, but the handle itself is a little bit, I think it's, it's thicker. And uh, the design, looking at it from the side, is a little bit different. So that's the third thing they've added and improved. The fourth thing they've improved is they have added style and tune. Uh, I won't be able to show you on this reel in particular. Well, actually, maybe I can. I will take this apart. And if you have a look at this, guys, I will show you what the silent tune actually is. Uh, on the spool, they have added just a small o-ring over here and also at the bottom over here hopefully the camera can pick that up uh, i will try to uh, keep that in focus hopefully you can see that on the top and the bottom over here and also on the other side just over in in the inside of that so that is basically the silent tune and what the silent tune does is basically keeping the spool uh, control at all times so it improves your smoothness in casting and it improves your feel when you, where you're casting and hopefully the silent tune will actually make the spool and and the reel uh, be a little bit more quieter than the uh, Corrado K and in our testing it actually does that uh, it's not by a lot but it's actually uh, it's actually noticeable all right the fifth thing they have improved is the line guide distance from the spool. So looking at this, you will see uh, pretty much no difference here uh, when, when you can you know, compare it just by looking at it from the eye. But if you measure the spool center to the, to the uh, line guide, you will notice just like they did on the new Bantam, they, they pushed out the line guide a little bit. It's by uh, two or three millimeters basically. Uh, but what that means is you'll have less friction on your line, which also adds to greater casting distance. So the fifth thing, they've uh, pushed out the line guide, 
just a few millimeters, but it does make a difference. Number six. Uh, this time I will talk about the spool weight. When you are weighing the spool on the Corrado K, uh, I think it weighs in at, uh, well, I actually can't remember the numbers, uh, but what I do know is that the Corrado K spool, the MGL spool, it weighs 1.7 grams less than the Corrado K spool. Uh, what that means is that it's easier to, to spin up faster, uh, it's, it will go out quicker, uh, which basically results in further casting as well. So you will be able to cast uh, lighter lures in the farther distance. Uh, and that's a great, great thing. Uh, for me personally, I will use this reel as a pike reel uh, and for my heavier perch fishing. So when you're casting heavier lures and heavier uh, tackle like that, uh, the difference might be as noticeable but definitely when you go down to your 10 gram lures, 8 gram lures, 5 gram lures, that's when you can feel the difference and actually really make, make uh, a distance in uh, difference. That's where you make a difference in your casting. All right, we are up to number seven. The seventh thing they've improved is the, the drag. Uh, on the new Corrado, uh, I was about to say the Corrado K, but this is Corrado M they've added two pounds of drag and I'm comparing the HG version and the two pounds of drag doesn't sound like a lot but it actually makes a difference as well when you're fighting those bigger fish and especially like me if you're doing some pike fishing with this reel then those two pounds is great to have an extra. I actually never had a problem with the Karate K so I don't imagine this being a super massive bit big difference but Anyways, they've added two pounds of drag and uh, hopefully that will improve your fishing. Okay, the eighth thing that they have improved is casting distance. Uh, well, I've talked about the MDL spool, uh, which is lighter and they pushed out the line guide and uh, they've added silent tune and, and all of those things add up to having greater casting distance. Uh, like I said before, Casting larger lures, big lures, you won't have that much of a difference, but going lighter lures, you will definitely notice that difference. In my testing experience, I actually can see a 20% improvement when casting the Corrado M, comparing it to the Corrado K. And 20% is pretty, it's a pretty big number. Uh, and uh, ev like ev every time they release a new reel, they, they do some improvements and it's not like a 50% or 100% improvement, but 20% is a pretty big step up. And uh, uh, when, you, when you think about it, if you're throwing like 20 meter casts or whatever, and you add uh, a couple of meters to that, that does make a difference. So 20%, in general, I've, I've tried a few different lures and a few different weights, uh, but the, the, the general improvement is 20% and that is a pretty big deal. So that's the eighth thing. The ninth thing they have improved, this reel palms a bit bigger than the Corrado K. And I like that. It feels bulkier, it feels bigger, it feels beefier. And uh, I, 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 I've compared the height, it's definitely, uh, it palms higher in the hand, uh, but the weight is exactly the same as the Corrado K in fact, but it just feels a little bit beefier, feels a little bit bulkier, and I like that. Like I said, I use this for my heavier perch fishing, but I also use it for my pike fishing. And when it comes to the pike fishing, I like that bigger feel. I, when I first grabbed it, uh, my initial reaction was that maybe this is a 250 size because that's pretty much how it feels. So if you're used to the 200 size, this does be uh, uh, palm a little bit bigger, but in my opinion, there's just an improvement. So I really like that. Number 10, and the last thing that I've noticed and I really liked is that the brake dial uh, over here is, sorry, over here is more protruding on the Corrado M. Uh, might sound like a small thing, 
but when you're fishing uh, you want to switch your uh, braking um, uh, power when you're switching between lures I actually like that the dial is more protruding and it's easier to grab a hold of with the finger and you can definitely feel the difference uh, comparing it to Kurado K and uh, it is quite stiff to, to, to turn uh, but it's definitely more protruding so it's definitely easier to change your braking power. All right guys, that was my 10 things that I really like and I think they have improved on the new Corrado M. Uh, I think guys, if you own a Corrado K, you will not be disappointed with upgrading to the Corrado M. And if you're using an older, even older Corrado, uh, then this is a big jump and uh, you will definitely love this reel. It's super smooth. It's super, uh, palm super uh, great. And uh, I think this might be my top favorite reel uh, in the next couple of years because I think it's affordable, it's good looking, great drag, great casting distance, and you know, the Corrados are super reliable reels that are just workhorse reel. You can beat them to death and they still keep coming back. So they are like zombie reels, super durable, just super smooth, Casting great, what more can you ask? So hey guys, uh, that was my top 10 things about the new reels that I really like. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like these kinds of videos, please hit that like button and obviously you have to subscribe to this channel. So hit that subscribe button as well. Uh, thanks guys for watching and see you in the next one.